Hi everyone, today we are going to study a theorem on limit of rational function as x approaches infinity. If f is a rational function with f of x equals g of x over h of x, the g of x and the h of x are polynomial functions and they are written in descending form. It starts with the first term a sub m times x raised to m and the last term is a constant a sub 0. While the h of x has this first term b sub n times x raised to n and the last term is b sub 0. Where this a sub m and b sub n are not equal to 0. Take note that the a sub m is the coefficient of the first term in the numerator and the b sub n is the coefficient of the first term of the denominator. Now, the limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity or negative infinity equals the limit of a sub m times x raised to m all over b sub n times x raised to n as x approaches positive infinity or negative infinity. Take note here, numerator is the first term here in the function g of x, while the denominator here is the first term of the function h of x. Now, we can simplify further our limit here, and we have three possibilities. This limit is equal to 0 if n is greater than m. Take note that this n is the highest power in the denominator. And this m is the highest power in the numerator. Another possibility is a sub m over b sub n. And this is the answer if n is equal to m. Another possibility is positive infinity or negative infinity. This is the answer if n is less than m. Let us see this example 1. Evaluate the limit of 5x squared plus 8x minus 3 all over 3x squared plus 2 as x approaches infinity. Here, we take note that the highest power of numerator is equal to the highest power of denominator, which is 2. Writing our theorem on this side, we can see that our problem here falls on the second category. The n is equal to m. And this is the answer. It means directly we can write our final answer. And that is the coefficient of the highest power of the numerator over the coefficient of the highest power in the denominator. So we have here 5 over 3. This is our final answer. Let us have example 2. Evaluate the limit of 11x plus 2 all over 2x cubed minus 1 as x approaches infinity. In here, we can see that the highest power of denominator, which is 3, is more than the highest power 
of numerator and that is 1. In our theorem, this problem falls on category number 1. So we can write our final answer here directly as 0. This is our final answer. Let's have example 3. Evaluate the limit of negative 4x raised to 4 plus 7x all over 2x squared minus 3x minus 10 as x approaches negative infinity. For our solution, we take note that the highest power in numerator, that is 4, is more than the highest power in the denominator, which is 2. So in the theorem, this falls on category number 3. The n is less than m. And the answer might be positive infinity or negative infinity. And for our solution, let us show first that the limit of the first term in the numerator over the first term of the denominator as x approaches negative infinity. So we have here the limit of negative 4x raised to 4 over 2x squared as x approaches negative infinity. Let us simplify first this expression. We have now this limit of negative 2x squared as x approaches negative infinity. Considering the negative infinity as a common number, we can substitute this negative infinity to the x here. So we have negative 2 times the square of negative infinity. The square of a negative number is positive and if we multiply a positive number with a negative number which is negative 2, the answer will be a negative number. So our final answer here is negative infinity. Example 4, evaluate the limit of the function pi square root of 3 all over x square as x approaches infinity. In this problem, we take note that the highest power of denominator, which is 2, is more than the highest power of the numerator, which is 0. Take note that our numerator here is a constant, so the power is 0. It means, in the theorem, this problem falls on category number 1. The n is more than m. So the final answer we can write here as 0. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.